Alright, what's up y'all? It's like a fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, I got some crazy game-changing passing info for y'all today. So, real quick, I'm gonna get out of the way. If y'all could drop a like on this video, if it helps you in any way, which I know it's gonna help you in like seven or eight different ways, alright? If you could drop a like if it helps you, I really appreciate that. You watch this whole video, I guarantee you, it is going to just benefit your passing game tremendously. So anyway, without further ado, we'll get straight into this. Number one, we got the icon passing control setting, okay? So this thing right here, this is your bread and butter. This is your key to being an advanced passer, okay? So I'm going to explain to y'all what this control does. I'm not going to show you what the actual 2K thing says. I'm going to go ahead and just narrate all this and just tell you myself. So what the icon pass control setting does, when you set to pass type, like I have it right here, it allows you to hit the icon once for a regular pass, as we know, like the usual A button pass. If you tap the icon twice, so I'm saying when you hold RB and you got their icon up, you tap their icon twice, enables you to bounce past them. Or if you hold their icon, it throws a lob pass. I don't think it doesn't actually throw an alley-oop, just I'm saying it throws the high pass where you're like, you can try to get it over somebody's head. So understand, like I said, this is normally set to default. The other option is full receiver control, which is honestly more set for my team, where you can like actually possess the person that you have their icon on and you can move them around manually but like i said with this the pass type control is more for the park and pro-am players where it's going to be you know the user auto like animated players you know the whole time you're playing so you don't need this stupid control <laughs> but anyway like i said the pass type control like i said you tap their icon twice bounce pass hold it that's a high pass and then like i said the regular tap is just the regular a button pass so anyway moving along um, to number two and like I said, I got like literally 10 tips for y'all on today's video So it's gonna be a real big game-changing info and I want y'all to understand this part right here You have to come out to the main menu It can't be in the park when you're playing with your controller settings You have to be in the main menu when you turn off this icon lead passing So here's the thing if y'all want to keep this on you can but I'm gonna go ahead and just explain what this does So when you have it set to the ability when you have it set on it, it gives you the ability to shift the pass direction to the receiver by holding the left stick in that direction. So what a lot of y'all may be doing by accident with this, say the, the inside bigs or just any bigs in general, when you pull down a rebound in Team Pro-Am and then you're trying to push the ball up the court and then you accidentally like, or let's say you throw the ball down court, right? What you're doing is you're accidentally lead passing them because you're moving forward. Your left stick is moving forward. If you turn this off, that disables that from happening. So just understand that is something that you can keep in mind. But I would say if you're a point guard, keep this on and you can maybe get real nice with it and like kind of curve your passes on them on them cuts. I think it'd be a real beautiful thing. And this is the thing. This video right here is going to like just breed some different breeds on the passers <laughs> as far as 2k20 goes and i know a lot of y'all probably don't know about this info like literally 95 maybe 99 percent of the people watching this video don't know about this info but anyway like i said if you want to turn off the pass icon lead pass feel free to like i said for bigs it makes the most sense to do that honestly if you're a, like a guard i would probably keep this on though just for just for the sake of that so here's exactly what I was going to tell y'all when it pertains to the bigs. So as you can see, icon pass closest to basket. I've already known about this for a long time, but I figured I'd throw this into the video because it makes a lot of sense to kind of tell y'all about this. So when you have your icons up, like you're holding your RB or R1 if you're on P4. But anyway, you're holding that you're holding that icon pass button. And when you tap LB, it passes to the closest to the paint. So generally, that's always going to be like your fast break icon. What I do sometimes in Pro-Am is I rip down the rebound tap my RB and then LB right after and boom you just like gun it straight to the closest person to the paint and you can also do this for like maybe cuts when you're playing team pro-am and you don't know your icons too well just keep all that in mind it's a very good tip to know so what I'm explaining to y'all now is that you can do directional passing while you have your icons up so I want y'all to understand when you have that RB or R1 held what you can do is use your right stick to directional pass that now so you can still keep your icons up but just swing it over like say you got somebody on the left wing Boom, hold your RB and then just move your right stick to the left. And it's as simple as that. Now, I got another tip on top of that, which is even more crazy. So what you can do with it is turn on flashy for the pro stick pass type. And now you can do flashy passes with your right stick. They're like directional flashy passes. Now, for those of you who keep flashy passer on and understand how OP it truly can be with the takeover meters, this is a big time thing, bro. <laughs> it is huge to be able to do this, especially when it comes to team pro-am. Bro, if you're sharp, on the wing knocks down a three like literally two of them he has takeover and if you can slick get a flashy pass off like that it is game changing info to know that kind of stuff y'all but anyway moving along to tip number five here so we have the pass target profile 
Now, now this is something I've known for years, like literally all the way back to 2K17, and I've usually always gone with higher directional passing. So I usually keep this around like 90 and then eight and then one in years past. But this year I've been really loving to just go all in on the directional. Now this is a little bit more of like voodoo stuff that you don't really have to completely believe in. But I, you know, and I'm saying you don't have to go 97, two and one, but I'm just saying this is where the default is and it gives it more for distance than directional. Like I said, I like to just throw this up to 97. It by default puts these to two and one. And I just recommend to try this out. It, like I said, this is a lot more voodoo stuff than the other than, than all the other stuff I'm showing you. Like the other ones are like proven things. This one is a little bit more hard to believe. But just trust me, this will help you with the directional passing as well. But with what I'm telling y'all, you might not even need it all that much with how much easier it's going to be to icon pass with all this stuff. So anyway, aside from that, I just want to go ahead and talk to y'all about some badges as well. But like, let's just let's just go over this one more time. So again, we have the pass target profile. Um, I'll get to these in a different video. This is what I keep for the defensive assist and box out strength. But anyway, then like I said, we got the icon passing type. Again, if you play the my team and stuff, if you feel if you want to do this, feel free to. This is where it's set to by default. Like I said, it's just default. And then if you set to pass type control, like I said, you can do the you can do the bounce pass if you tap their icon twice. You can do a high pass if you hold their icon, and then you can just do a regular like pass if you just tap their icon normal. Now again. Pro stick pass type. You can do you can do directional passes when you have your icons up by just keeping this in mind. You don't have to change any controller setting for it, but if you want to change your controller setting to where you can do a flashy pass by doing that, you can also do this as well. So anyway, this is just some stuff that I wanted to teach y'all about. And then same with, like I said, the icon lead passing. If you want to reduce the amount of turnovers you throw as a big man on the fast break, feel free to turn this off. It's big time. <laughs> this is some big time stuff, y'all. I'm telling you, this is like for real. And I'm going to keep this on just because I am more of a hybrid big man. And I, I kind of, you know, I already don't take too many dribbles on those rebounds in Team Pro-Am or stuff like that. And my pass accuracy is pretty good as well. So I'm not too worried about anything, anything like that. But anyway. We're gonna make a quick little cut. We're gonna get out to the park and I'm gonna talk to y'all about some badges. All right, yo, so we're gonna go over three very underrated passing badges in my opinion in 2K20. So we'll keep this real slim and then I'm gonna show y'all some gameplay adjustments you can make as well. And that'll be the end of the video. So anyway, number one is gonna be bailout. You gotta have this thing on, bro. The, the, the amount of things it lets you pass out of jump shots or layups or also passing out of double teams and just never making an incomplete pass <laughs> and the higher the level the the better it is to uh be able to catch and shoot for your teammate now if you're gonna not want that on a high level or can't afford it i would say at least rock it on bronze you need it on bronze at the very least and i know a lot of y'all be like yo it doesn't like pertain to my play style just trust me you you put this ball in bronze you're gonna feel a lot more comfortable going up with shots and passing out of them if they're not there now again flashy passer big time thing like i was talking about earlier your teammate like literally makes two shots if it pertains to his takeover so like i was saying a sharp hits two threes or a slasher gets two dunks off of these you have takeover instantly it's crazy bro y'all gotta try this out if you don't know about it and then we have needle threader too this is a really underrated badge as well this is more for like a true point guard or especially for the team pro-am aspect but just for the amount of like you know interceptions it disables for the other team is big time yo and it, it does what you would think it does it, it makes it allows you to thread the needle and just make like tighter and tougher passes than normal but anyway other than that obviously the, the other uh passing badges that we have here so we got lob city passer this one's not quite as necessary in my in my opinion i run with an inside big man and let me just tell y'all like a six nine slasher type inside big man for those who are new to the channel and I don't I, my guards don't need this badge on at all to be honest with y'all like it's kind of a broken badge where you don't even need it and then like i said break starter i'm not a big believer in this myself but again my my builds do always have high pass accuracy so that's part of the reason i don't need it if you're like a true inside big man i would assume maybe you need it but again maybe that icon pass lead is something that is like playing with you and making it hard for you to make those passes down court maybe you should try that and see if that helps but anyway other than that we're gonna cut to some gameplay stuff all right, yo, so right here, we got a lot of passing stuff that I'm going to tell you all about. Now, believe it or not, I have actually taught my point guards how to pass. Me as a little backseat big man, I, I got some real high IQ when, I when it comes to this stuff, y'all. I really want to become a coach in my future as well. But anyway, you're going to see, they got this lock over here guarding our right corner, and then they're like non-defensive point guard guarding our point guard. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to force that switch off inbound. I already know if I come up and don't let that guy from the right corner switch on this, then boom, I can just dot right corner. This is just a small example of one of the good passes I like to make 
and this is what you can do as a big man this is what you truly as a big man can do with this passing stuff now i know the clips are a little blurry as well i apologize for that that's just kind of how this has to go but anyway into some pick and roll offense now this right here i want to explain to y'all there are two different ways to set up this pick and roll offense and when we have to go with this kind right here as a point guard you have to know that right corner will blitz that role very often now on this one he doesn't but i'm just kind of using this as an example you're going to see once i roll off this then boom like i said the the right corner doesn't drop down but he can do that very often now you have to be very aware of dotting that right corner when that time comes now this one right here we have set up perfect for the side it just didn't it just wasn't the right execution this is where kitch probably should have thrown a lob in this situation or even shot the ball because they pre-switched where they dropped the the big man down off him early but regardless we this is where we have it set up to the right side where we don't have to worry about that corner help as much it's just these two defenders right here so i just want to explain to y'all some of the passing tactics that i know and the things to keep in mind as a passer and these are big big tips right here but anyway you, again you see he didn't throw the lob it was probably the right situation to throw a lob in that in that time now this right here is where we have set up perfect okay and this is where they both play high even if they didn't both play high i could still get an easy lob because if one of them was still trying to chase me it's still they're still too out of position for that but you see we have it set up to the perfect side where the left corner is not able to be a helper in this situation he has to go so far to be able to affect a lob in this situation and you see this this is just an easy easy take right here now i was like hinting a little bit too that the scoreboard was part of the reason but regardless you see easy easy take now this right here again is when you need to be aware of those corner blitzers look at this guy he blitzes super hard off this corner crazy crazy ability as a finisher to be able to hit this it's honestly wild but hey at the end of the day like i said finishers can <laughs> can knock these down but like i said just be be aware of that left corner help in this situation when the role has to set up and develop to that same side look at this i mean <laughs> crazy crazy ability but anyway that is about it for the video if y'all enjoyed this and you learned anything from this video all right listen like you need to drop a like on this vid there are literally like eight gems that i have dropped in this video and it's just crazy what i've shown y'all in this so anyway other than that i hope y'all enjoyed if you did like i said feel free to drop a like sub if you knew turn on them noties all that good stuff watch some of these other videos man for real like it, we've been on a nice little roll right here lately and i just gotta say like yo like this one banger right here you gotta check this out it is big time info for you and then for slashers like if you want to check this out like i was talking with the flashy passes and uh and like bailout specifically like bailout is one of the best bronze badges as well just check out some other content if you're new anyway for all my subs that made it to the very end of the video put point god in the comments if you made it to the very end just to show your support that you made it all the way through and other than that like i said if we get this like a thousand likes i really appreciate that but hey aside from that i hope you all enjoyed and share with some friends too for real but hey other than that like i said hope you all enjoyed and take it easy man peace